Oh guys, oh guys, here we go. Finally got out to the range. Someone stopped by that's a member here, so I couldn't shoot. So I was waiting for them to finish up what they were doing. Um, I still don't have a tripod, so I got you leaning against something right now. Uh, so just bear with me if there's camera difficulties. I really wanted to get this on camera, shooting this load. Um, I shot my Kimber a lot today. Got some stuff through that. Didn't have time to chrono. Uh, the sun's really going down, so I don't know if the chrono is going to work or not. I'm just going to thumb a few in here and shoot the plate so you guys can see that these work. This is, this is only uh, about 50 yards. These things aren't wanting to feed today. Maybe I'm just running the action a little fast here. But we're going to try and run these over the chron chronograph. Um, you guys probably aren't going to be able to see the readings. Uh, I'm going to try and yell them out after each shot so I can record data because I really don't have time to sit here and, and say, oh, well, i got to write this in my book and all that stuff so I'm going to refer to this video afterwards um, this load is 43 grains of H322 with a 175 grain uh, double ended wide cutter from NOE And I'm praying to God, please cross your fingers also. Do not let me shoot the chronograph. Please, don't let me shoot the chronograph. I can probably bring the chronograph up. Alright, let's see how this goes. Hopefully, I do not shoot my chronograph. And hopefully, this works. Alright, no reading on that one. The light conditions... Actually, you know what? Let me take the sky screens off. Because this is low light, and they say not to use the sky screens in low light. Man, I really wanted to chronograph these and see how fast they were actually going. There we go. 1543. Yeah, 1438. I don't know if that was a repeat from the last one. Oh, shit. Good job, Carlo. Good job, buddy. 1224. I think my powder measure is not super accurate, so it doesn't surprise me. And honestly, I like that velocity a lot. I think that's probably where I'm going to keep the velocity on this round. So I have other loads here. This is a uh, 450 grain bullet from NOE. This is also 43 grains of H322. So let's run some of these through. I'm, I'm glad I finally had time to do this. This might be a really long video, and I don't care. It can upload. I just wanted to show the Marlin in action with some loads here. All right, hopefully. 
And of course the 450s are gonna be the one that's a jam. I think the log cutters might be a little bit uh Oh, that's why it's doing that. That's weird. That's weird. I don't these 450s didn't fit right from the beginning. Woo! That hurt. $14.99. That's kind of fast for it. Or I'm sorry, not $450, $405. Thirteen fifty-seven. Thirteen thirty-four. Now thirteen ninety-four. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time reading stuff today. Fourteen oh two. See if I can get this one to chamber. I don't know if maybe there's just excess powder in the chamber, and that's because that that went in real nice. Fourteen sixty-five. So for four oh five, I think they're pretty well where they need to be. All right, and the rest of these are the same. They're all forty-three grains. Uh, where's my other box at here? Because I got three twenty fives that I wanted to test out really bad. Alright, so these are three twenty fives with a gas check from uh, NOE. This is 49 grains of H322. I don't like to feed anything. Sixteen Sixteen fifty four. Sixteen forty six. Uh, that was an error. All right, so those are we'll call that sixteen fifty. I don't know something. These are. Uh, these should be. Oh, these are 40, uh, those are not the ones I wanted to put in. <sighs> How about we do this? Let's, uh, let's close that box on and grab it again. How about that? All right, so this is 50 grains of H322 with that same 330 grain. Uh, actually, no, no, this isn't an NOE. This is an MP. This is a 462 gas check hammer. That's what this mold is. I'm sorry. Uh, good mold. It comes in a bunch of different configurations as far as hollow points go. So, I mean, these kick pretty well. I don't... Hopefully these aren't really fast. Let's find out. How about that? Sixteen eighty three, one six eight three. I don't even know where I'm hitting with these things. That was an error. One six eight one or sixteen eighty one. That was an error. Yeah, it's getting the conditions aren't that great with the light. Sixteen ninety four. That's all of them. So not much difference there. This is uh, 
51 grains of H322. Man. I'll tell you what, standing. Well, I'm leaning backwards, too. That's why it's probably doing it. But that does not... It kind of thumbs a little bit. I shot all these the first time off of a bench, and it, it wasn't that bad. So here we go. This is, uh, what is this, 51? Yeah, 51 grains of H322. Uh, I think that might have been an error because it's 1694 again. Another error. Another error. I think the light's getting too low. Yeah, I think we ran out of light. Yeah, we ran out of light here. Son of a gun, man. I was really hoping to chronograph all these loads. Now these are, I forget what I loaded these with. I want to say they're 49 grains of H322. Uh, this is the Mihat 462 hammer. Let's see how these guys shoot. Barrel's getting nice and hot now, too. I should probably let it cool down. I really wish I could see where I was hitting. Ah, son of a gun. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the wad cutters. Because I can actually, I know where they hit. They hit point of aim. Uh, let's see if it's me or the gun. Because those loads, I, I, I was kind of somewhat aiming at that steel plate but not quite so i don't know if it got that plate at all it didn't sound like it usually steel you'll hear, hear it ring real well so um as far as these wad cutters go i think i'm probably going to stick with this 43 grain load because it is working very well And they feel good to shoot. Uh, it's, it's me. Yeah, it's that's me. I'm not. I'm just blowing through shit trying to not, uh, trying to make it run and it's not, it's not right. I ordered a tripod off Amazon, so hopefully soon it'll be in. I really wanted to chronograph the, uh, Kimber stuff. You know what I'm thinking about? Let me go shut it off and move it. So I really wanted to chronograph all the stuff from my timber because that, that shot amazingly well today. So. So I'm starting to get a little fatigued here. Let me pick you up so I can dump my ammo out. Um, and usually when I get fatigued, I start shooting real bad. And that's what's, I believe that's what's happening right now because I'm, I'm not shooting as good with this load as I usually do. So I, I want to run the rest of it because I, I love shooting these wad cutters. They're freaking awesome, dude. So awesome. Like those four, 405s, I got a little bit of a headache going now. The uh, 325s, they weren't too bad. Um, they're, they're somewhat painful. I'm throwing one in there just as a little extra. Um, but, you know, it's not bad overall. Woo! 
Woo! That's some bitch rocks it. That is a 325 from the MP mold. That was me pulling. That was a hit. That was a hit. That was a hit. That was a me letting the firing pin hit something. All right, so since I hit it with that one 325, now I know where I'm at point of aim and it seems like it's kind of where the 175s are at, which is the top of the plate and I'm hitting low. Uh, so I gotta come up. Let me, damn it, that's hot. There's one notch up. Let's see if that helps me at all. I love shooting this rifle without a fraction of a doubt. I absolutely love shooting this rifle. I would get the camera out, but it's all packed away in my truck right now. I don't like how those things feed in. There's two. Come on, please, stop swinging. That's the only downside to this round is it, it swings them plates really hard, man. You guys probably can't even see it down there. It just swings the crap out of them plates. And of course, the last one I miss. All right, let me get a, a handful more now that I got you pointed where it's actually at. Let's see if I can't get that plate to swing and show you what I'm talking about here. I really love shooting this rifle. It seems like when you switch different loads, like the 175s, it's a little hard to cycle at the first shot. I think there's still stuff in there, but it, it works good. It's a good rifle right now. Ah, come on. There we go. So, you guys kind of get the idea. Uh, hopefully, I can get a better video for you soon with a tripod and all that stuff. Uh, get you some more velocities. You can see the sun's pretty well down now. Um, or getting there, at least. So, it, it's hard for me to set up the chronograph. I wish I had came earlier like I wanted to. Because I could have got you more data with the chronograph. I got here, I probably shot two or three hundred rounds. Eh, three hundred rounds, yeah. Through the Kimber. Uh... Just to see what it like, it does not like the Lee uh, one, 175 grain mold in the least little bit. It just, it won't feed worth a shit. Like it just, it doesn't feed period for whatever reason. So, um, trying to run that stuff and get it done. And one of the members showed up to the club wanting to sight his rifle in. So I had to give up the range to him because I am not a member of this gun club. So... I at least got to shoot today, which is awesome, because I haven't shot in a long time. Uh, I shot last weekend, but that was, you know, not that much to me. So, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to try and get you more information here, get you some data. I, I need to test a bunch more loads. I got, like, another 100 rounds of loads for the 4570 to test out. So, stay tuned. I'll try and get back to you and get back to all this stuff as soon as I can. Hopefully, I'll, I'll have my own range membership so I can do this at my time or on my time rather and not have to worry about other people needing to shoot all right i'll see you guys soon